What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And if you were following the whole Nickelodeon bonanza over the year, you knew you kind of had a suspicion that there were some weirdos that might work there. And in fact, this is a story that I covered, I think, late last year, and now receiving some interesting new information from, well, a extraordinarily high-ranking Nickelodeon staffer named Dan Schneider. Now, I'm going to assume that um, Dan... How do I put this? I'm going to give him the same benefit of the doubt. I will give any Hollywood celebrity who interacts with kid actors for a very long time and then has crazy claims made about them. I will give him that exact amount of credit. Uh, I have a feeling that uh, Dan enjoys a wide variety of content on the internet, for example. Content that, um, well, you should probably use a VPN to view. That's right. Before I get into the story, huge shout out to this video's sponsor, Private Internet Access. I've been using a VPN for a very long time now, and the one I use is Private Internet Access. For me, the most helpful parts of it is the fact that it protects my data from being sold by big tech and allows me to change my location and stream a wide variety of movies that might not be streaming in your particular particular area at that time. For example, Shaun of the Dead is not streaming here in the United States. I know a lot of people like anime would like to stream it, may need to change the location. Plus, VPNs offer a wide variety of other bonuses, and I have a massive, massive discount for you today, linked in the pinned comment and description below. Sign up for private internet access, protect your computer, support the channel, and everybody wins. Now, Dan Schneider, he denies that he enjoyed the feat on old Nickelodeon shows, says that he didn't cross any lines. Now, look, I don't want to be that guy, but he looks like he likes himself some feet. Now, I will say this. I'm not going to shame the guy uh, if he enjoys his feet. That's a harmless thing for, you know, whatever, you, whatever you're into. Um, people out there probably like thumbs. What do you think, viewers? What do you think of this thumb, huh? Uh, is that pretty nice? Yeah, I don't care if you enjoy that. If you, you know, save that and you, you know, take take that to the spank bank, that's fine by me. Um, you're not hurting anybody. But Dan, ex king of Nickelodeon programming, has addressed a long held theory that he enjoys the feat and then channeled that into his television shows. Something that he said isn't true. The one-time TV producer responsible for creating a number of hit series over on Nick over the years, including iCarly, Drake and Josh, The Amanda Show, Zoe 101, and countless others. Let's take a minute here. Let's take a minute here. What happened to the guy from Drake and Josh? Wasn't he just busted texting somebody that wasn't old enough? Uh, what happened? I wonder if he worked on Corey in the house. That guy seems to like them very young see that's the thing i don't know why any parent would let their kid get into acting because you end up around the, the these creeps he did an interview with the new york times but straight up asked him about the feet thing because obviously there's all sorts of feet clips that people you know have from his shows several people have compiled still shots from different shows of his and they seem to find a common theme among his actors they seem to have a lot of bare feet scenes Dan responded with, the comedy was totally innocent, going on to say that the foot claims were ridiculous and chalked them up to kids finding feet funny or goofy, insisting he never attempted to put his stars in that type of position. Well, we do have a lot of bare feet on your programs. I don't know how much that is organic. However, the more concerning stuff, the stuff that I'm really curious about reminding people of now that he's unretired and he's back on the scene, <clears throat> some of his on and off camera behavior with the stars of his shows has been called into question, suggesting Dan was at bare minimum creepy and unaware of boundaries. It's all much about uh, it's all much ado about nothing, though, according to Dan, who's also clarified his reasons for parting ways with Nickelodeon back in 2018. When all this came to light, a historic 30 year run with the network, saying he was simply adding to other 
attending to other personal matters in life that he'd let go by the wayside. Now, look, uh, maybe that's true. You'll forgive me, though, if I don't give Hollywood celebrities the benefit of the doubt, especially overweight, sweaty looking ones. And I realize that I that I'm saying that I realize that. However, the New York Times reports an in-house investigation into his workplace practices got underway around that time. Well, what a coincidence. So he quit to take care of personal issues, except there happened to also be an investigation going on. Hmm. Interesting. This after claims of he was verbally mean to ex-staffers. Apparently, the review found merit to some of those claims, which made him seem like a high, str high strung and difficult. I, I don't really care about that. What HR didn't find any credence in was other claims of spicy stuff, something else that had been speculated about him, uh, especially amid the height of the Me As Well movement. His coincidental departure around the same time uh, the, the, that claims were making uh, seemed odd. Now, Dan had this to say about these relationships. I couldn't, I wouldn't have long-term friendships and continued loyalty from so many reputable people if I had mistreated my actors of any age, especially kids. Oh, really? Um, Harvey called. Um, um, have you seen people defending uh, Mr. Bill? And there is a lot more to this, actually. You know, I mean, there is... He called it ridiculous, totally innocent. But there were all sorts of times where he was texting the actors in, in weird times. You could see uh, a controlling, difficult showrunner prone to tantrums and angry emails. A man with a delicate ego who made some staff members feel as though they were always walking on eggshells, like Alan, apparently. The article reads, several said they felt uncomfortable when he frequently asked an employee from the costume department for shoulder and neck massages or texted young actors outside of work hours. I mean, that's totally normal, right? Asking other people on the job to rub your neck when you're like a super powerful multimillionaire. I'm sure you could just have told Nickelodeon you wanted to hire somebody to come in. I mean, I used to work at a call center and every week we had someone coming in and offering massage services to people. You had to pay for it, but they were there. They come to the office. They take care of your neck, your back, and get you back to work. Other claims detailed in the article included his workaholic nature, his expectation that associates work 16 to 20 work hour workdays, and three former colleagues attesting to staff members pushing Schneider in a roller chair so he could work he could work moving from room to room. Representatives for Nickelodeon and Shiner did not immediately respond to Variety's comment. He said, I never interacted with actors in any way, texting or otherwise, that should make anyone feel uncomfortable, he told the Times. Over the years, I've grown and matured as a producer and a leader, he later, later added. I'm sure I'm better and more gentle at communicating today. As Schneider moves beyond his Nickelodeon years, he told the Times that he's working on new shows, including a pilot he wrote and sold to another network. Wow. Welcome back. Welcome back, Dan Schneider. Welcome back to Hollywood. I mean, there is absolutely no doubt that his decision to retire from this show uh, and the investigation that was just starting were related. There's nobody, nobody who actually genuinely... And, and by the way, this is Nickelodeon too. Remember, this is the same network that has been bringing you drag uh, parade celebrations and... Um, I don't know, is Blue's Clues on that channel? I don't know. Nickelodeon has this like woke news network that they post these clips to Twitter and then don't let anyone respond to. I'm not saying the guy's guilty. I'm just saying I'm awfully suspicious of him. Um, in terms of him liking them feats, that's cool. That's fine. That's harmless. Um, the fact that he made his actors possibly feed into that. That would be particularly weird and not okay. Um, and also the fact that he quit right around the time he was being investigated. 
sure seems like it isn't a coincidence. Hey, before you leave, remember to check out Private Internet Access. Their link is in the pinned comment and video description. Take a minute, get Private Internet Access, save huge money, and start protecting yourself today. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.